Okay, today we're going to look at five common strumming patterns that we can play on the guitar. There are probably hundreds of videos of this already on the internet, and I figure why not have one more, right? So uh, all of these patterns are going to be played over an E minor chord. So just to refresh your memory, it looks like that, okay? Sometimes you can play it with these two fingers. When I teach new students, I use these two because I figure if you can eat food, you can play an E minor chord. So there it is. The first one we're going to play is called the boom chuck pattern. And uh, this is like your classic drum beat, just bass drum, snare, bass drum, snare. That's the sound that we're trying to mimic with the guitar. So what I like to do is I aim for the, the thicker strings, the bass strings on beat one. You know, you don't have to be perfect with it, just aim, for, at least get two of them. You know, two or three of the bass strings. And then um, that's your boom. And then your chuck is gonna be aiming for the treble strings. Okay, but the idea is to have uh, every other beat be just a little bit stronger than the one before it. So just think, boom, chuck, boom, chuck. So just by separating out these strings, you, uh, you automatically give some nice dynamics to your strumming, okay? Sounds a little bit better than just kind of strumming everything robotically like. Just gives it a little bit of uh, texture, right? So bass strings, treble. Good, let's practice that to a beat. I'm gonna set up my metronome at 60. Let's give it a whirl. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. Boom, chuck, boom, chuck. Nice. All right, the next one is gonna be all eighth notes and they're gonna be played all down. Okay, all down strums. Um, so this is like your, your rock and roll rhythm. Okay. Um, and to make it just a little more exciting, we're going to also keep that accent on beats two and four. So it's like we're combining eighth notes with the boom chuck. Okay, so it'll sound like this. Okay, cool. Let's try that with the metronome. I'll count us in. One and two and three and four and. Good, okay. Uh, third one is gonna be our down up strum. So just, uh, let's, let's try to hit all six strings on this one, we'll go. We'll just aim for a nice even down up strums through the whole the whole bar. Okay, here we go. One and two and three and four and down up down up. Good, and to make that a little more exciting, let's see if we can uh, hit two and four a little bit stronger, okay? They're getting harder as we go, right? Here we go. One and two and three and four and one. Sweet, moving along. So next is gonna be what I call the folk strum. So this is just gonna be two quarter notes and four eighth notes. Um, this works in uh, so many different acoustic style tunes um, and uh, it's, uh, it's a good way to start mixing up your quarter notes and your eighth notes, okay? So remember our uh, rule for pick direction, right? On the downbeat, we wanna strum down and on the umbeat, uh, on the umbeat, on the upbeat, we want to strum up. Okay, so this one's going to be down, down, 
down, up, down, up, okay? Okay, so practice that for a minute. That's just one bar there. One, two, three, and four, and. Okay, the tricky part is to start um, combining bars, right? To play it uh, in a row, put it on a loop. Okay, let's try that. One, two, three, and four, and down. Down, down, up, down, up. Good, okay, we'll try it with the metronome just to keep our rhythm true. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, up, one. Two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and good. Okay, so as you start to master these at this speed, you can crank up the uh, the tempo, okay? Uh, so we're, we're at 60 right now. Just to give you an idea, if I put the metronome up to, say, 100, let's see what that sounds like. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Same strum pattern, just a different tempo. Okay, so our final strum pattern is what I call the universal strum pattern because it works in just so many different styles. Um, there's something magical about it that just, uh, that just works. So um, to get into this, um, I'd like you to kind of go back a little bit to our down up strums, okay? Because what we're gonna do is we want our hand to be always moving, um, even if we're not strumming the strings because that's going to give us really good flow with our strumming sound and our strumming feel. Um, so in the, the universal strum, you're going to see that we have a mixture of eighth notes and quarter notes. Okay. And what I'd like you to do is watch my hand um, just for a bit and watch how my hand is consistently moving down, up, down, up, even though I only hit um, certain uh, beats. Okay. So let's just watch this for one second. It's going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. So as you can see, there was a point in that strum pattern where I strummed down without hitting the strings. See if you can catch it again. So it's like a down, down, up, miss. Okay, did you see that? What also might help is, uh, is to have a nice visual for this strum pattern. So I'll put that up on the screen here. So what you're going to see is that um, on beat three, our foot's going to hit the floor, but we're not going to strum. And that's just a little part that can throw people off, but you're going to get it. So I'm going to give us a count and um, come in and strum along with me when you feel like you got it. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Good. All right. Nice job. So um, how about uh, for to, to close this off, I'll just go through all these patterns uh, one after the other. And um, that way you can have them all in a nice little compact part of this video. And um, if you can if you can play along through the, through all of these without stopping, um, I think you're in really good shape. OK, so here we go. I'm going to keep the metronome at 60 and I'll go from the very first one all the way through. OK, and I'll, I'll shout them out for you. Starting with boom chuck. One, two, three, four. Good, rock and roll. Eighth notes, all down. You can hit G 
just the bass strings or all of them. Good. Down, up. Folk strong. Down, 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 up, down, up. And universal. Good. Okay. So the cool thing about the guitar is once you have a few chords under your belt and you can, um, you can strum a few of these strum patterns with confidence, uh, you can play tunes. It's really, it's really that simple. You can take something like uh, your universal strum pattern and say a G, D, E minor, C. hit the open mic night and rock out so <laughs> that's it um, so thank you so much for checking this out and uh, keep practicing and having fun all right thank you